Today we will be assembling the barnwood futon frame. One person can assemble this futon frame, but we will be using two as it's easier. Make sure you have all your pieces or boxes for a complete frame. You should have one box with a left arm, one box with a right arm, one box with a front barnwood spreader including hardware, and one box with a back section, seat section, back flat spreader, and return mechanisms. Unpackage all the pieces and keep each of the box contents separate. In the hardware bag you should have one set of instructions, four barrel nuts, six four and three quarter inch bolts, two three and one quarter inch clevis pins, two two and three quarter inch clevis pins, four hair pins, ten washers, two wood stops, four inch and five inch, inch screws, one allen wrench, and six wooden flush plugs. The barnwood futon frame arm and spreaders are assembling using a metal bolt to either a metal barrel nut or a metal insert. The metal to metal connection is much better than using lag bolts which other manufacturers use. Taking the flat back spreader and checking the holes to make sure there is no sawdust or debris in the holes. Lay it on the floor with the holes for the barrel nuts up. Insert the barrel nuts into the holes with the cross slot up and so the hole in the barrel nut is aligned with the hole coming in from the end. Bolts. We will now attach the back spreader to the back of the arms which are machined flat. The front of the arm has the round hole mortised in it. Carefully turn the flat back spreader up on edge so the rounded over edges are on the top and the barrel nuts are to the inside of the frame. Then lift the spreader and align it so the four bolts can easily go into the spreader. With the allen wrench, start the bolts into the barrel nut at a couple of turns. If by chance the barrel nut turns so the bolt will not start, you might have to take a screwdriver and turn the barrel nut using the slot to realign it. Don't tighten the bolts completely. It's important to keep everything loose until the very end. Spread the arms apart so the barnwood front spreader will fit in between. Lift the barnwood spreader and insert the tenon into the mortised hole in the front of the arm, pushing the arms together. Take the two remaining bolts and start them from the outside going into the spreader. Don't tighten these bolts. Take the back section which has the two rounded dowels on each end and with the slats to the front of the frame and the extended ends going down to the floor, install the back section between the arms. Do this with one person on each end by spreading the arms apart and inserting one of the dowel holes into each of the angled slots in the arms. You'll notice that each slat is glued and screwed into place. No staples will be found in any of our futons. Now you can tighten the bolts with the allen wrench as snug as possible. We will now install the return mechanisms on the seat section. Place the seat section on the floor on edge with the slats away from you and the holes in the ends toward the floor. Put a washer on the shorter clevis pin, then put the clevis pin through the hole in the return mechanism from the side opposite the little dowel. Place another washer on the clevis pin tight against the return mechanism. Take the clevis pin, washers and return mechanism that you have put together and install it onto the seat section with the clevis pin going through the top hole in the end of the seat section from the outside going to the inside. Put another washer on the end of the clevis pin and insert a hairpin through the hole in the end of the clevis pin. Do the same on the other end of the seat section. In the full upright position. Now position the seat with the slats facing up and the pivot holes to the rear between the extended ends of the back section. Align the holes at the end of the back section with the holes at the end of the seat section. Insert the longer clevis pin from the outside of the frame to the inside of the frame. Standing in front of the seat section, pull it straight out towards you slowly until the back and seat section are lying flat in the bed position. Lift the seat section up until it is over center resting on the back section. Now put two washers on the end of the clevis pins and install a hairpin through the hole in the clevis pin. Now we have to operate the frame so it's back into the seating position so that we can put the wood stops on. Standing in front, grasp the seat section and pull straight towards you which takes it out of the lock position and then with a swinging motion pull it down until the seat is resting on the front of the spreader. Now with the side of your leg or with your hands push the seat section straight back until the back is as vertical as possible. We will now install the wood stops. With the futon frame in the upright seating position, take the wood stop and hold it on the underside of the outside member of the seat section with the wide part up against the front barnwood spreader. 
While holding the wood stop in this position, take a pencil and draw a line across the small end of the stop on the seat section end. Do this on both ends of the seat section. You will now need to put the futon frame in the bed position. Do this by standing in front and center of the frame. Using both hands, lift up a little, maybe two or three inches, and pull in horizontally straight towards you until the back and seat section are flat down in the bed position. Now lift the seat section up vertically and over center until it rests against the back section. You now have the bottom of the seat section sh showing so you can mount the wood stops. Take a wood stop and hold it in the same position that you had it when you had it underneath the frame marking it with a pencil. Move it down about a quarter inch covering the pencil line and securing it to the seat section using two of the screws and a screwdriver. Do this again on the other end of the seat section. Pre operation, we will lubricate the slots on the arms with either beeswax or a bar of soap. Just rub a little in the slots in the arms and it's good to go. Insert the flush plugs into the holes and with a hammer and a block of wood, tap them in. We have now completed the assembly of the barnwood futon frame. All that is left to do is put a piece of futon gripper on the seat section of the frame. This helps keep the mattress from slouching down with use. We also need to put the futon mattress on the frame. Make sure the front edge of the mattress is even with the front edge of the seat section and tuck it in where the back and the seat section meet. To go to the bed position, lift up slightly on the seat section, pulling towards it. Now push back about an inch to put it in the locking position. When you want to go back to the seat position, lift up on the seat section at a right angle until the return mechanisms lock into place. Now pull forward about one inch and then with a swinging motion, go down to the spreader. Push back on the seat section until it locks in. The Barnwood Futon Frame is the best built futon frame in the industry. We stand behind this by offering a lifetime warranty against defects in material and workmanship. These assembly instructions for the Barnwood Futon Frame also apply to the Northern Exposure and the Wilderness Log Futon Frames.